Yeah, it's a good question. Um, you know, definitely after the game, you're, you're feeling good because the boys played well. You know, they played well, especially that first half. And then to score in the you know, 89th minute, something we haven't done this year. It's actually happened against us many times. So um, it was definitely good vibes after the game. It was a good training session for the guys that didn't play a lot. Um, but it just gives you confidence going into the next game. But I think you know, for us, it's about trying to be consistent and put a couple performances, um, good performances together in a row. Do you have follow-up, Jenna? Yeah, kind of looking back, you went with a pretty young lineup, and, and you could have maybe had a couple more veterans in there. You could have started Jackson, for instance, but you went with Nico, or you could have started Paul, but you decided to start Oscar Verhoeven and give him a second start. So, you know, we had a conversation more uh, before about playing the kids a little bit more as the season's gone on. Do you, will we see kind of more of that young lineup type start? It felt like they gave you some fresh energy coming out. and. You know, with the Sunny Buddha in there as well, you know, Daniel Muni, it does feel like, you know, there is a bit of a youth movement, you know, starting to happen in San Jose. Yeah, I think, um, you know, part of that is, is true, but, you know, the other part is just trying to manage, you know, three games in a week is always tough. Uh, we've had a lot of injuries lately, uh, a lot of muscle injuries. Um, so part of it was, yes, you know, but I think, you know, the, the younger players like Oscar, he's earned, he's definitely earned it. You know, it's not something that I'm just going to say, hey, let's just play the young guys, they have to earn it. And he has, uh, Buddha. obviously, has been really good lately. Um, and then, you know, just, again, managing the squad. Nico's going to be a player here for a long time. And uh, some of the guys just needed a bit of a rest, and, you know, that's part of it as well. All right, we'll move on to a question from Paula Murray. Paula? <laughs> I'm here. Good afternoon. After Wednesday's game, we talk about the resiliency when you guys neutralize Seattle. What will be the key factor to carry that resiliency for the game on Saturday with San Luis? And I do have a follow up. Thank you. Yeah, the key against Seattle was just, you know, just being really compact defensively, um, front to back, side to side, and limiting the space in behind for Jordan Morris to run into, which is a very dangerous player. Um, and I thought we really did that well. We were unfortunate on, I thought, both goals. You know, very unlucky on the set pieces. Um, but the same tactics have to apply against St. Louis. It's a team that likes, is very, very direct. They'll play with two forwards, running in behind, uh, challenging headers, second balls. They press really well. Um, so again, tactically, we have to be sound defensively, but on the ball, we have to think quick because they're going to press. Um, there's going to be times where we have to play direct. We have to get second balls. If not, we do have to keep it and play quickly. So that, that's kind of how we're looking at St. Louis. Uh, you have a follow-up, Paul? Or? Yes, I do. The schedule for this week has been very busy with three consecutive games. After Wednesday's game with Seattle, what will be the criteria to choose the players for St. Louis? Thank you. Yeah, you know, today was a, a day where some of the players were regenning still that had played on Wednesday night. So um, criteria is health. Um, how they're feeling physically in terms of, you know, just the, the repeated games and just players that are in form, players that I think can get us a, a good result on Saturday. We have one last question here remotely from uh, Ted Ramey. Uh, you guys had uh, a nice little visitor, your new signing, an honorary captain, nine-year-old uh, Beckett, uh, who's uh, recovering from cancer uh, as uh, the league celebrates uh, Childhood Cancer Month. Um, you know, what did it mean to you and, and, and the team to, to have him out there training? Yeah, it's always, uh, you know, special to have someone come out that's, that's going through an illness like cancer and see him recovering. And, um, you know, he was in really good spirits. The team really likes that, you know. I think we should do more of that. And, um, you know, he got to run around. He'll be at the game. So it was just, it was a, it was a good thing for us, for the team, for the club.